In our opening contest here in Philadelphia at the Spectrum, we'll feature Leaping Lanny Poffo taking on Barry O. Leaping Lanny Poffo in recent weeks has been making a name for himself with his high-flying maneuvers, and he'll look to take care of Barry O this evening in Philadelphia. We'll be right back with a match after this timeout. And making his way to the ring right now is the one and only Barry O. Barry O has had some tough luck in recent weeks here in the World Wrestling Federation. Always seems to have some offense, but can never put together that one, two, three count to put his opponents away. And he's going to have his hands full trying to catch and maintain Leaping Lanny Puffo as Leaping Lanny Puffo is a one of the high flyers here in the WBF, uh, along the likes of Coco B and the Macho Man, Randy Savage, of course, the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. And we are set to go here in Philadelphia, our opening contest of Spectrum Wrestling, and Leaping Lanny Puffo kick to the midsection of Barrio, follows up with some red hands. And Leaping Lanny Poffo would like to, ooh, a beautiful maneuver, takes Barrio down. Leaping Lanny Poffo would like to be uh, considered for a contender to that Intercontinental Championship, I'm sure. And another beautiful maneuver takes Barrio down and a backflip. And the fans in Philadelphia appreciate the athleticism. And Leaping Lanny picks up Barrio and whips him into the turnbuckle and follows up with a big forearm smash. And Barrio goes down. Fans, we have a big card for you here tonight in Philadelphia. The Hulkster is in action. Uh, he is now, oh, and Barrio tumbles to the floor. And Leaping Lanny has such great ability, uh, agility, excuse me, and ability. He has ability and agility, Leaping Lanny Puffo. And he misses the axe handle down to the rope. And Barrio with a jumping neckbreaker. Beautiful maneuver. Gets back in the ring, and he may take a count out victory here. We have a great card for you this evening. The Hulkster is in action, and Leaping Lanny with a beautiful maneuver here in a pinning combination. And only gets a two count. The Hulkster takes on Kamala in a no holds barred, no rules match. The Hulkster very fired up in recent weeks after losing that world heavyweight champion. A beautiful maneuver by Lanny Poffo and another backflip. And the fans here in Philadelphia really appreciate the athleticism of one leaping Lanny Poffo. And the Hulkster will be taking on Kamala. We have an eight man battle royal for you this evening. A $50,000 over-the-top rope battle royal. And, of course, our main event of the evening, Rick Rude defends the Intercontinental Championship against the Macho Man. And that was a beautiful maneuver by Barrio, throwing Leaping Lanny off the top rope. And Lanny reverses it. And Barrio goes up and over. And a shoulder block down to the floor. Barrio has been spending a lot of time of this match outside the ring. And Leaping Lanny is on the top rope. He could be setting him up for that beautiful crossbody maneuver. And if he does so, Barrio will be in trouble. And a leap, and he hits it. And Lanny Poffo takes Barrio down and celebrating to the fans. And Lanny gets back in the ring. Barrio follows him on a high knee by leaping Lanny. And a beautiful maneuver takes Barrio down. I think Leaping Lanny is wasting time here, catering to the fans. He needs to go for a cover. He's had Barrio down several times in this matchup. And again, a beautiful maneuver. Now he goes for the pin. Referee in position only gets a one count. And again, Leaping Lanny with a beautiful maneuver. Stomping away on Barrio. This guy can do moves and flips and... He is just fun to watch, folks. And now he's going up. And he calls that maneuver a moonsault. And he nails it. Goes for the cover. And Barrio could be done. Only gets a one count. And Barrio is shaking up here. 
Misses with a drop kick. And now Barrio with a Fez press. And big right hands taking down Leap and Landy Poffo. And now Leaping Landy tying up Landy Poffo. I'm sorry, Barrio tying up Landy Poffo like a pretzel. Going for a submission. And Landy's able to reverse it. Did not go for the cover there. Nails the drop kick. That time he hits it. And the fans here in Philadelphia really appreciate it. The moves of Leaping Landy Poffo. And I don't know what this maneuver is called, but beautiful. Takes him over into a sunset flip. Two. And Barrio kicks out. And I'll tell you what, there's a few times where Barrio could have been pinned. Able to fight his way back and stay alive in this contest. And again, Barrio out to the floor. He spent so much time with this matchup out on the floor. And Lanny has him here. Into an armbar submission maneuver. Barrio able to reach the ropes. And a beautiful pinning combination by leaping Lanny Poffo. Has Barrio down for two. And Barrio kicks out. And another beautiful move into a pinfall. Leaping Lanny is going to get a... No, he does not. Barrio kicks out again. And Barrio is staying alive. I don't know how, folks. With all the flips and the maneuvers that Leaping Lanny Puffo was doing. I don't know how Barrio is still alive in this contest. He misses a drop kick. And now Barrio might have an uh, opportunity to take advantage here. Big forearm. And whoops, landing in. Knee to the stomach. Whoops him in another knee to the stomach. Into a Russian leg sweep, it looks like. And nails it. And leaping Landy in trouble. And now Barrio working the arm. Leaping Landy trying to get out of it. Does with a forearm smash. And a beautiful move. Up and over. And now leaping Landy going up top. Could he be hitting his finishing maneuver? And he nails it. A beautiful moonsault type maneuver landing his feet right in the midsection of Barrio. That took a little bit out of Leaping Landy. He's unable to go for the cover. But I don't think Barry's going anywhere. I think this match is over. One, two, and three. And fans, your winner is Leaping Landy Puffo here in the Spectrum in Philadelphia, our opening contest of the evening. And we're going to, I can't even call these highlights. I mean, that was a beautiful uh, second rope moonsault by Leaping Landy Puffo. And I think with a little bit of luck, this guy could be in contention for the Intercontinental Championship. Regardless of who the champion is, whether it be the Macho Man Randy Savage, that would be ironic, and Ravishing Rick Rude. Of course, tonight we'll have that match between the two. And folks, your winner here in Philadelphia, the opening contest of the evening. And it's Leaping Lanny Puffo. Fans, we'll be right back with more World Wrestling Federation action from the Spectrum after this timeout. And wrestling fans, welcome back to the Spectrum here in Philadelphia. Our next contest will be an eight-man, $50,000 over-the-top rope battle royal. And the superstars featured will be Adrian Adonis, The Rock, Don Morocco, The Junkyard Dog, King Kong Bundy, Hercules Hernandez, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and the Natural Butch Reed. And fans, we are away here as these men are going after each other. And I'm quite actually confused with some of the pairings here as I would have thought for sure that Hacksaw Duggan and Junkyard Dog would have been teaming up but they went right after each other there's a 
friendly rivalry between those two. Uh, in the meantime, we have King Kong Bundy and Butch Reed locking it up. And Morocco whipping Ricky Steamboat into the turnbuckle. And Hercules Hernandez and Adrian Adonis are going at a full tilt. There's a lot of action to call here, fans. So I'm just going to sit back and call what I can. And Duggan sends JYD down face first. And now he puts his attention towards King Kong Bundy. And Butch Reed going after JYD as he sees he's down. And adorable Adrian Adonis and Hercules Hernandez going at it full tilt here. And Ricky Steamboat takes Tom Morocco to the ground. Now he whips JYD into the turnbuckle. And Junkyard Dog being set to go over the top, trying to fight his way out. As Don Morocco recovers on the outside, he was not thrown over the top rope. He slid under that bottom rope. And now it looks like King Kong Bundy and Hacksaw Duggan going to work in the corner. No love lost between those two and a huge headbutt by King Kong Bundy. It was just here a couple months ago in Philadelphia that Hacksaw and King Kong Bundy were involved in a big tag team match. And these two are no strangers to each other. And Hercules still well in the way in a reversal. Adrian and Dodge with an elbow, another elbow. And now Junkyard Dog and Butch Reed going at it. Now my favorite in this match that you had to think would be King Kong Bundy. Just because of his size. And as I say that, Hacksaw is trying to take him up and over the top rope. I would say that the featured favorites here would be King Kong Bundy, Junkyard Dog, and Butch Reed. We'll see if any of those three are able to win the match here. And as I say that, Hercules Hernandez, actually, I can see a, a, all eight of these men winning this contest. There is no slouch in this contest whatsoever. And JYD has Hercules up, trying to get him up and over. He does get over, but his feet do not hit the floor. And they do now. And Hex, uh, excuse me, Hercules Hernandez is the first person eliminated and there goes adorable Adrian and he's eliminated by Butch Reed so in a matter of 10 seconds both Hercules and adorable Adrian have been eliminated and now Hacksaw has Ricky Steamboat could he be eliminated next and King Kong Bundy with a side slam on Butch Reed and Ricky Steamboat is dangerously close to going over he's able to fight out of it and Junkyard Dog has King Kong Bundy up against the ropes and nails a big close and out goes King Kong Bundy and that's a shock everybody he was the odds on favorite to win this thing and he got eliminated at number three and now it's down to five you have Butch Reed and Ricky Steamboat going at it at the top a suplex by Hacksaw Duggan on the Junkyard Dog and Don Morocco again did not go over. He's just resting underneath that bottom rope. And now Hacksaw and Hacksaw going on it as natural Butch Reed takes over Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Butch Reed, a man on fire. He's attacking everyone in sight. Stomping away now with Ricky Seaboat. And Morocco gets back to his feet. And there's no love lost between Morocco and Reed. Let me tell you that much. After Butch Reed injured Morocco's tag team partner, superstar Billy Graham. Morocco sure to get his hands on Butch Reed. And there he goes after Butch Reed. And, and Reed with a head. Body slam on. Oh, and a reversal by Morocco. I spoke too soon. Big right hand takes Reed down. And Morocco going into the junkyard dog. And there's no love lost there either. And a DDT by Morocco. And a backbreaker by Hacksaw on the steamboat. And now Hacksaw and Morocco going at it. Steamboat kicking away a Butch Reed in the corner. Now going into the junkyard dog. And Morocco's up. Hacksaw has him. And over. And Hacksaw trying to kick him to the floor. If he's able to, Morocco will be eliminated, and he cannot. Morocco fights his way out of it, and Reed has Steamboat up and out. And out goes the Dragon by Butch Reed. 
And there it goes, Morocco again over the top rope. Again, kicking away at Morocco. And the JYD goes over by Reed. Reed trying to push JYD out. Does not get him out. Does not eliminate Junkyard Dog. He's still alive in this contest. And there goes Morocco and Reed again. And a big clothesline by Reed takes Morocco down. And Junkyard Dog stomping away on Hacksaw Jim Duggan. A friendly rivalry here between these two. And Hacksaw fights his way out of a slam. Punches to the midsection. Takes JYD in half. And Reed with a suplex on the Junkyard Dog. And a flying clothesline by Reed on the Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Reed picks up Duggan and throws him over and out. And it's now down to Junkyard Dog, Butch Reed, and Don Morocco. And Reed has Junkyard Dog. Oh, Junkyard Dog reversing it. And there goes Reed into the top turnbuckle. And Morocco recovering. JYD has Reed about to eliminate him. And I think Reed has been busted open. I can't I can tell, yes. He's been busted open after that headshot on the top turnbuckle. And Reed able to fight his way out. And Morocco going after Reed again, but JYD for some reason broke it up. And a big headbutt to Morocco. And JYD slings over Morocco. And a big left hand by Butch Reed. Right hand by Butch Reed on the JYD. And these two have no love lost. Fighting each other all over the country. And JYD with a punch to the Reed's midsection. And Reed has JYD and throws him up and over. And now it's down to Morocco and Butch Reed. The winner gets $50,000. And Butch Reed with a big right hand and a clothesline takes Morocco over. And your winner of the Battle Royal, Butch Reed. And the Slickster has to be very impressed with that victory. As his man, the natural Butch Reed, wins a $50,000 purse. And fans, I don't care who you are, Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf, Rick Rude, or if you're the Islanders, he can find any partner. you got to watch out for the natural Butch Reed. Fans, we'll be back with more Spectrum Wrestling after this timeout. And fans, our next contest of the evening will be the Hulkster Hulk Hogan, the immortal Hulk Hogan, taking on Kamala. And this match will be in a no rules, no holds barred match. Now, Hulk Hogan has not been wrestling much since losing the World Wrestling Federation Championship to Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. But Mr. Wonderful hasn't been giving him a rematch. So Hulk Hogan wants some action. He wants some competition. And Kamala is just that competition. This match will be no holds barred. That means weapons are legal. No count out, no disqualification. And one would think that that match would favor the Ugandan giant Kamala, but Hulk Hogan wants the competition, and he wants to show the championship committee here in the World Wrestling Federation that he is worthy of a rematch. And Mr. Wonderful doing tactics that are unbeknownst to him, choking Kamala on the top rope and slinging him back. And the Hulkster looks to be in great shape here. And a takeover by Kamala, somewhat of a wrestling move, surprising me, from the Ugandan Giant. And a backhand up and over, and Hogan with a headbutt gets out of that move, and a big clothesline takes Kamala down. And Hulk Hogan clamoring to the fans here in Philadelphia who love him. And Hulk whips Kamala into the turnbuckle, falls over the big clothesline. And Hulk Hogan in early control here has Kamala up in a neck breaker, a la the honky tonk man. And stomping away at Kamala. Hulkster picks him up. An inverted atomic drop. Misses with a clothesline because Kamala was falling to the ground. He has Kamala. And into the ropes goes Kamala. And a big clothesline takes Kamala down. And Hulk Hogan clamoring to the fans here at the Spectrum. And they love him. Kamala's fighting back though. Puts to the midsection. And a big uppercut. And Kamala has Hogan down now, working the arm. And Kamala punching away, has Hogan up. And a beautiful suplex by Kamala. 
Again, he's not known for his wrestling moves, but this guy can go. And Hulkster with a big shoulder block takedown. And you know somewhere, somehow, and big up, <laughs> oh, body slam. Hogan takes Kamala up and down. You know somewhere across these great United States that Hulk Hogan will get a rematch for that championship. And now the action is spilled to the outside. And again, there is no count out, so this is totally legal. And Kamala throws Hogan into the barricade. And now Kamala going underneath the ring. What's he have? He has a sledgehammer. And Hogan kicks Kamala in the stomach in a big chop. Picking up Kamala again and a body slam on the concrete floor. And now Hulkster picks up the sledgehammer. Go to town, Hulkster. You can do it. He's waiting for Kamala to get up. Don't understand the logic here. He has a weapon in his hand. Something that you don't see Hulk Hogan do every day. And nails Kamala in the stomach. This is something that you don't see Hulk, uh, Hogan do every day. He is not somebody who cheats and he always abides by the rules. So you put a, a weapon in his hand and maybe he doesn't know exactly how to use it as good as someone like uh, Paul Ondorf or Kamala. And now clamoring to the fans. And Kamala is down. I don't know why Hulk, Hulk Hogan doesn't get him in the ring and pin the mighty Ugandan giant. Allowing Kamala to get back to his feet in a big boot. Kamala's down. Another inverted atomic drop by the Hulkster. And again, misses with a clothesline. That maneuver takes Kamala down each time. Now Kamala throws Hogan back into the ring. And now Kamala has a sledgehammer. And this can't be good. A so nails Hogan in the stomach. And Kamala discarding the sledgehammer outside. And punching away at Hulkster. And Kamala has Hogan up for a suplex. Hogan reverses it. <coughs> Excuse me. And a, punch, a whip into the turnbuckle. And now Hogan telling Kamala he's coming. And Kamala with a big slam down. And Hogan's in trouble. One, two. And he kicks out at the last second. Hogan came charging to that turnbuckle. Kamala slammed him down and almost had the pinfall. And now Kamala's in control. What a turn of events here. Hogan was in full control. And Kamala slammed him down. And Hulkster was able to kick out. And now the Hulkster grabbing the chair. And nails Kamala with a chair. And Hogan's having words with the referee. And hits him with a chair. The referee was reprimanding Hogan. This is a no-DQ match. And Hogan said, oh, yeah, well, watch this. And the referee's down. And Kamala, what was in control, Hogan with a big clothesline, flexing in front of Kamala. Kamala takes him down and hitting him with the right hands. This match has gotten out of control, folks. I can't believe what I saw. Hulk Hogan had words with the referee. And because it was a new disqualification match, hit the referee with a chair. And now Kamala back with that sledgehammer. The chair's still in the ring. Well, now it's not, and he kicks it out. And Kamala with a big DDT on Hogan. And they're both men are down. Kamala getting back up, goes for the cover. That could be it. And not even a one count. Hulk Hogan... Kicking out before the referee's hand came down for a one. And now Kamala has the Hulkster snapmare down. And working the arm, elbows to the chest. And Hulk Hogan's in trouble. Now Kamala looks to be setting off that giant Ugandan slam. He has him up. And there it is, that Ugandan slam. And Kamala has won many matches with that maneuver. The overhead Ugandan slam. And he's going to go for the cover, I believe. And he does. It's a one, two, and the Hulkster kicks out at the last second. And Kamala having words with the referee. And now he's going back as he grabbed the sledgehammer again. Goes out to the ring. He's allowing Hogan to get up. <coughs> Excuse me. 
A sledgehammer back in the ring and nails the Hulkster with it. Again with the Hulkster. And a third time on the lower back of the Hulkster. And Kamala has nailed Hogan with a sledgehammer three times. And the Hulkster with a big headbutt fights back. A snapmare takeover. Kamala takes Hogan down. And the Hulkster finding himself in trouble. Kamala unable to put Hogan away. Goes for the cover again. One and the kick out of two. And that was close, guys. And now Kamala picking up Hogan again. Goes for a body slam. Upside down to the turnbuckle and throws Hogan down. And a backdrop by Hogan and Kamala's down. And Hogan with a big body slam down to Kamala. Goes for the leg and he nails it. Go for the cover. This could be it. One, two, three. And the Hulkster comes back with a huge victory over Kamala here in the Spectrum in Philadelphia. And this was a back and forth contest, folks. What a big win by the Hulkster to get back on the winning side of things. And Kamala had this match at times almost won. Hits the Ugandan slam, which has put many opponent away. And the Hulkster kicked out at the very last possible second. And there, I thought it was over right here, and Hogan just kicks out. But the Hulkster had a chance to body slam Kamala, hit, hit the leg drop. And that was all she wrote for Kamala. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan. And somewhere, somehow, he will get a rematch for that World Heavyweight Championship. Folks, we'll continue here at the Spectrum with our main event, Macho Man versus Rick Rude for the Intercontinental Championship next in Philadelphia on Prism. And wrestling fans, it is time for our feature bout of the evening, the main event, as Macho Man Randy Savage challenges ravishing Rick Rude for the Intercontinental Championship. Miss Elizabeth will be in the corner of the Macho Man, and Bobby Heenan will lead his charge, the Intercontinental Championship, uh, Champion Rick Rude in this contest. And folks, this one is sure to blow the roof off the spectrum. And making his way to the ring at the time is the current Intercontinental Champion, Ravishing Rick Rude. He defeated the Macho Man for the Intercontinental title last month when the World Wrestling Federation was on tour in Maryland. And your Intercontinental Champion, Rick Rude, making his way to the ring, being led by the manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan, the manager of champions here in the World Wrestling Federation, Bobby Heenan. And the Ravishing One getting the attention of all the ladies here in Philadelphia. I'll leave that hanging there. And here he comes, folks, the number one contender, the challenger, being led to the ring by the lovely Miss Elizabeth, the macho man Randy Savage. And he is looking to regain that Intercontinental Championship that he lost last month. And folks, these two have been going at it all over the country. And every single time, the Macho Man looks to be regaining that Intercontinental Championship, some kind of interference, whether it be at sometimes Bobby Heenan, sometimes at one time, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Now he interfered and the Macho Man got saved by none other than Hulk Hogan. Now, Mr. Wonderful is not here in Philadelphia tonight, but one would think that if a Heenan family member was to make his way to the ring, that maybe the Hulkster would save the Macho Man again. And I would say under no circumstances are those two friends 
But again, they share enemies in Bobby Heenan's family, and we are under uh, underway here in Philadelphia at the Spectrum. And a Russian leg sweep by the Macho Man takes Rick Rude down. Inverted atomic drop, and Rick Rude is in trouble in more ways than one. The Macho Man starting out on fire and a kick to the knee and a big elbow by Rick Rude who's making advances towards Miss Elizabeth and he has more important things to worry about like that Intercontinental title and the Macho Man taking advantage and these two just trading back and forth and reversing each other's maneuvers in the early going of this contest. The fans here in Philadelphia are at a fever pitch. As you can hear, they are excited for this one. And a big bulldog by the Macho Man takes Rick Rude down, stomping away, and drops an elbow drop on the concrete floor. And Rick Rude is in trouble. And an elbow to the top of the Macho Man's head. And Rick Rude will take a double count out here. It counts up to six. And they both men get back in the ring. And Macho Man taken down by Rick Rude going for the cover. And a kick out of one. And a right hand takes the Macho Man down. And Rick Rude has now gained control. Oh, going for a suplex reversed by the Macho Man. The suplex of his own takes Rick Rude up and over. And Rude escapes to the floor. Where's he going? Oh, and Rick Rude and the Macho Man are out in the fans. They're out in the stands here in the Spectrum. The fans here in Philadelphia get an up-close and personal view of the Macho Man and Rick Rude. And they're fighting in the crowd. The referee is still counting. Could this contest end in a double countout? And a big uppercut by the Macho Man. And Rick Rude and Macho Man Randy Savage are in the crowd, folks. The people here in Philadelphia getting their money's worth, especially those who spent the big bucks for the floor seating. And over the guardrail goes Rick Rude and back into the ring and they beat the 10 count somehow. Fans, that was wild. I never saw anything like it. And the knee off the rebound, the Macho Man's in trouble. A gorilla press slam down goes the Macho Man. And Rick Rude trying to steal a victory, has his feet on the ropes, one, two, and a kick out. And a big clothesline by the Macho Man takes Rick Rude down. And he's setting him up for that pile driver, and he nails it. And wait a second, Bobby Heena distracting in a roll up, handful of tights ref. Rick Rude has Macho Man down, one, two. And Randy Savage kicks out. And again. And this time Rude. Holding on for leverage. And reverses it. Macho Man has him down. One, two. And a kick out in two. I thought we had a new Intercontinental Champion. And the Macho Man with an atomic drop. And having words here with the referee. The Macho Man taking down a swinging that breaker of his own. Not quite a rude awakening but having the same effect. And the Macho Man going up to that second turnbuckle and drops a knee. And again, having Rude up and Rude reverses and throws the Macho Man out onto the floor. And Rick Rude now gaining a little bit of his composure back. He was in trouble there. And a gorilla press slam and down on the concrete floor goes the Macho Man. And now Rick Rude almost as if he's toying with the Macho Man. Again, he doesn't mind getting counted out. He'll retain that title anyway. And stopping away on the Macho Man, the referee's count is up to five. And Rick Rude gets back in, so does the Macho Man, and a big knee. Uh, it was a knee on knee collision there, and the Macho Man goes down, and now Rick Rude ramming Savage's head into the mat. Stomping away, and the Macho Man, able to escape, misses the knee, but does not miss the clothesline. And Rick Rude and Macho Man are again back and forth, taking turns again. Another Gorilla Press slam down goes the Macho Man. Miss Elizabeth beside herself at ringside. 
What an even contest this has been so far. They seem they know each other very well. They've been wrestling each other all over the country. And one reverses the other move and vice versa. And these two know each other very well. And the knee off the rebound. And Rick Rude in control for now. And setting up the Macho Man for a big DDT. And that is usually the precursor to the Rude Awakening. And he's going for it, but Macho Man blocks him and takes him down. Macho Man blocking the Rude Awakening. And now has Rick Rude over for a suplex. And the Macho Man stomping away on Rick Rude. Picks him up for a body slam. Rick Rude reverses it and a kick to the knee. Rick Rude's been working that knee all match. And a kick to the midsection. They gorilla press slam again down. And showing the strength. That was four gorilla press slams. And Rick Rude going for the cover. But the Macho Man able to get his foot on the rope. And the referee breaks it up. And now Rick Rude going for a pinfall here. Near the ropes again. He was using it to his advantage. And the referee stopped the count. Saw Rick Rude's hand on the rope for leverage. And Rick Rude has the Macho Man in a situation here. Chopping away. And choking the Macho Man against that top rope. Come on, ref. Get in there. A slingshot back. This is not an ODQ match. And Rick Rude going up to the second turnbuckle. And he drops an elbow. And that could be it. Going for the cover here. One. And a, a kick out of one by the Macho Man. <coughs> and Rick Rude stomping away on the Macho Man. Now flexing for the fans. Come on. That's insulting to a man like the Macho Man. An ability to back suplex takes the Macho Man down. And Rick Rude has been in control for the last few minutes here. And again, it nails a DDT. And I can't tell from my vantage point, but it looks like the Macho Man has been busted open. He is. And now Rick Rude, allowing the Macho Man to get back to his feet, could be setting him up for that Rude Awakening. Kicks in the midsection. And there it is, the Rude Awakening. Could this be it? Could Rick Rude be retaining that title? Goes for the cover. One, two, and the Macho Man kicks out at two and a half. Rick Rude is beside himself, and the fans here in Philadelphia are in a frenzy. They're all on their feet. And the Macho Man reverses the body slam and kick to the knee of his own. Arm drag takeover by Rude. And throws the Macho Man's head down to the mat. Go for the cover again. Macho Man's head bounces off the floor too. The Macho Man's head bounces off the mat really hard. Only able to get a two and a half again. And Rick Rude getting a little bit desperate here if you're asking me. I mean... He has had the Macho Man several times in this matchup, and the Macho Man has kicked out every single time. Going for the cover again. One, two, and a kick out again by the Macho Man. And Rick Rude is beside himself. He does not know what he has to do to put the Macho Man away. How about a fifth gorilla press slam down to the mat goes the Macho Man. And now Rick Rude catering to the fans, and again pointing to Miss Elizabeth as he gyrates. That's totally unacceptable. And Rude picks up the Macho Man and fiercely whips him into the turnbuckle, bounces off the Macho Man. And again, Rick Rude going for a pitfall, has his hand on the rope. The referee sees it again. Rick Rude trying to steal and cheat his way to retaining the Intercontinental title. He is getting desperate, folks. He cannot put the Macho Man away. And Rick Rude being desperate. Now the referee holding him back from going after the Macho Man on the floor. He will take a count out victory, I'm sure. And Rick Rude now going up top and flexing to the fans here in Philadelphia. They are in a state of frenzy in Philadelphia. And the Macho Man back to his feet. And Rick Rude does not know it. Turns around. And there's a beautiful side backbreaker by the Macho Man. He is in control again. Working the arm of Rick Rude. He can feel that intercontinental title coming back. Ramming Rude's head into the mat. And Rick Rude in trouble. Going for a body slam and reverses it. The Scorpion dead drop by Rude. And he's picking up the Macho Man again. A kick to the midsection. Go for the Rude Awakening. And he nails it. This should be it. Rick Rude goes for the cover. 
and a one, two, and a kick out by the Macho Man, and Rude is beside himself. He cannot believe it. Rick Rude going to the second turnbuckle. He misses with an elbow drop and the Macho Man in control. Stopping away, kicking away at Rude. And the Macho Man ramming Rude's head into the mat. He can feel that title coming back around his waist. Macho Man picks up Rude, right hand. Rude reverses it and a chop to the back. And Rick Rude going out to the floor. What is he doing? He's grabbing a chair. He's gonna try to get disqualified, but Savage kicks it out of his hands. He has Rude. And a big backbreaker by the Macho Man takes Rude down. The Macho Man picking up Rick Rude and going for a neckbreaker of his own. And Rude is in trouble. Bobby Heenan distracting the Macho Man. The referee getting rid of the chair. And a chop block from behind. Rude takes Savage down, goes for the cover. Too close to the ropes. And Rick Rude is almost as if he's trying to get disqualified. He's going back out to the floor. He's grabbing that chair again. And he's hitting the referee. That's going to be it. A disqualification. The Macho Man will not regain the title. Fans, I don't believe it. Rick Rude got himself disqualified to keep the Intercontinental Championship. And that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Spectre Wrestling here on Prism. We'll see you next month.